What's up guys, we just finished the morning meeting and today I'm gonna to just share with you a quick hack for Airbnbs. Um, we're gonna be talking about Kanban cards. Let me show you what a Kanban card looks like. This is a Kanban card that we have at the office and basically it's a low inventory trigger. When we have, or are running low on whiteboard markers, it basically tells us, hey, we'll, we'll trigger this and it will instruct us to buy new ones. And then right on there is a QR code and the QR code will take people directly to uh, whatever, wherever we're buying these from. So this is a hack. So you never run out of inventory for your Airbnb, guys. Stick around, it's super quick. I hope you enjoy it. You can apply this to many, many things. This is just what we came across today during morning meeting. If you don't know what morning meeting is, go look at the rest of my channel. It is the hack. It is the shortest way to have an awesome company that you don't lose things through the cracks. That's what this is. So afterwards, we identified a problem, we're immediately addressing it, and it's like 10 a.m. on a Monday. All right guys, here's a brief explanation of how Kanban's work. We're gonna just gonna ignore that this is a Pedialyte one. We're just gonna ignore this, but we're gonna pretend that this is toilet paper and this Kanban is for toilet paper at the Airbnb. Well, at the Airbnb, you've got pantry, and that pantry has toilet paper in it, and that is the restock for the Airbnb. Well, we're gonna have a Kanban card that is the trigger, and we're gonna make it to where you can't get to those four unless you go through this Kanban card. So from here, one roll of paper towels or toilet paper is used, second roll is used. Now, in order to get to here, they have to trigger this physical card <clears throat> and they take a picture of it and they send it to us. From there, we'll then do something with it, but there's still enough safety stock for maybe another two guests or more, right? Now, that trigger lets us know after morning meeting, hey, we need to go to our replenishment stock, which is at the office, and on here, it'd say, hey, we need to replenish it with X amount. So while these are, let's say they're running low, okay? We're then gonna go and we're gonna replenish. We're gonna put the trigger back into place and then we're gonna replenish everything with exactly how much safety stock inventory was deemed necessary, right? At that point, everything's set back up. The more important thing is you never stop the cleaning lady's ability to complete, continue to turn things. Now, what about the safety stock inventory here at the office, right? Let's say this, this is going on independently and this takes two days to ship, very similar. Let's say you have two boxes of this. On that last box, once you get into this box, you say, okay, I'm triggering this, I want access to this. We then will scan this code, go and buy more, all right? Same thing. Here's an actual real life example that we have in front of us. So these are box cutter knives. There is a box cutters here. We only have two in here, but inside of this bag is another bag. Well, what's that other bag? Well, there's more box cutters. And if we pull this Kanban card, we're gonna say, hey, when there is two left, then go buy one more pack, which is a 10 pack. Well, luckily there's two here, right? So what'll happen is, this is the baggie to grab the Kaizen foam knives from. We're gonna use them, use them, use them, use them, use them. Eight of them will be in here. And when we need to use the last pack, we can, we have extras. But in order to physically get to this, I have to open this up and we have the Kanban card triggered. We'll scan right here and then that will take us to go purchase more. And then when the 10 come in, we're gonna reload this with two, reload the Kanban card, close it up. So we'll always have that safety stock inventory there. And then the rest of the packs, the rest of the packs will be loaded back up with this bag. That, this is called Pokioki. All right, Pokioki is Japanese for make it mistake proof. Same thing for outlets. This outlet is an example of Pokioki. You can only plug an outlet in a certain way if it matters. This does not matter, so you can plug it in multiple ways. If it wasn't like that, such as one of these cables here, this cable there is Pokioki, because you, you can't plug it in another way. Here's an, another example of a Pokioki. This outlet right here is different outlet, and you can see because this is rotated horizontally. This is a 220 volt outlet. So you cannot plug this in even if you wanted to. And that's an example of Pokioki. You want to Pokioki or make it mistake proof. You want to have your safety stock and your triggers set up to where you still have enough inventory to continue operations while you get more, but you don't need to have a massive amount of inventory. Go back to this example right here. You've got your Airbnb. Your Airbnb has a certain amount of safety stock. When 
that safety stock is consumed, you should have enough time to either A, buy more and replenish that at one Airbnb, or because we have multiple Airbnbs, we're gonna have, as, they, as these multiple ones run out of inventory, we can replenish from our office. Once we replenish from the office, we can then have an inventory level Kanban here for us to get more toilet paper. Guys, I hope that's helpful. Hey guys, we are here. We are doing our battle plans on Monday. Monday is reserved for us in our time. One thing that we are doing is we have an issue with our Airbnbs and our Airbnbs, our cleaning lady ended up running out of coffee, conditioner. Uh, there was no process to capture the dish. She was alerting us, me. I was dropping the ball by not alerting anybody else on the team. We have four Airbnbs currently. We're gonna expand that. We're all standardizing the types of shampoos, the toilet paper, you know, the things that you would do. And we are having two things. One, we're having a back stock Bonnable items in the actual Airbnb itself. The first one. The second one we're gonna do is we're gonna have a third Kanban set here in the office where we can go and replenish stock if necessary. And then that here in the office, it keeps them going and then we trigger the Kanban card to order more. So I just wanted to capture that data this morning. Uh, we're gonna go to the Quantum Leaning website and make new Kanban cards for everything and then train our cleaning ladies how to handle that. So. Um, that's our 3S improvement for the week. And it's a big deal because one Airbnb, not a big deal. Two Airbnb is not a big deal. Once you start getting three, four, five, six, and you start having scale, standardize the consumables that you're gonna need. Everyone has the same pairs of towels. Everyone has the same kinds of sheets. Coffee's teas, push and pull. And then we're gonna have the premium stuff. So we're gonna be able to, you know, bulk order some, keep some inventory, uh, but then be able to pull from here, pull system, so the cleaning lady has it as the customers pull as they're consuming it, and then we'll always be on top of it. Again, like how the combo system works. Go team! Woo! Wasn't that cool, guys? So again, combo cards, super easy. We're never gonna make that mistake again. We're constantly improving. We're making the job easier for our housekeeper to do, and we're gonna be able to just continue to rock and roll with it. Apply this to the thing that bugs you and your company, and we'll see you next time.